In this video, we're going to look at variance and standard deviation. Variance and standard deviations are measures of spread. They tell us how spread out the data is. Variance. For variance, we use the symbol, the little sigma squared. And for standard deviation, it's just the little sigma. So we're going to start with working out the mean. And then we're going to move on to the variance and standard deviation. So you probably know from your previous studies that the mean, to find the mean, we add all the numbers up and divide by how many there are. So in this case, we've got 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12 divided by 8. And we can type that into a calculator and it gives us a mean of 7. So the mean in this case is 7. There's two ways of working out the variance. So there's, if we do the first way, which is better for explaining what variance is, and then the second way which is the method that you're going to use most often. So to calculate the variance, what we could do is look at how far each number is from the mean. So 4, the mean is 7, so 4 is 3 from the mean. The 4 is also 3 from the mean. I'm going to leave it as just the, the number to start with. 5 is 2 from the mean, 6 is 1 from the mean, the other 6 is also 1 from the mean, 9 is 2 away from the mean, 10 is 3 away from the mean, and 12 is 5 away from the mean. So we look at how far each number is away from the mean and square it and divide by how many numbers there are. So this is the method we can use to calculate variance when we've only got a few numbers, when we don't have much data. So we can type this into the calculator now. So we've just looked at the distance. Each number is away from the mean, squared it, and divided by how many there are. And that gives us a variance of 7.75. Now, that method is good when we've only got a few numbers, but when we've got a large amount of data or we've got a table, we cannot use this method. And so instead, we use this formula up here. So the variance is the sum of the x squareds over how many there are, take away the sum of the x's over how many there are, which is also the mean, squared. So the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So we could say it is the mean of the squares, mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So using that method, we need some of the x squareds. We need to know, we already know the mean, the mean is 7, so this bit here is going to be 7, but we don't know the sum of the x squareds. So to work out the sum of the x squareds, we're going to do 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. So all of the squares of the numbers added up. So if we work out the sum of the x squareds, type it into the calculator, and I've got sum of the x squareds, so I'm going to write sum of x squareds is 454. So we can just type our numbers into the calculator now. So the variance is going to be 454 over 8 n is 8, there are 8 numbers, 
minus the mean, which is 7 squared. And of course, we should get an answer of 7.75. Okay, calculate the standard deviation. Standard deviation is square root of variance. So variance, we've got the little sigma squared. Standard deviation is just little sigma. So standard deviation is the square root of 7.75. So if we just square root answer, we get to three significant figures, 2.78. Okay, here's another question. You can try and pause the video, give this one a go, and press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, the mean again, so we're going to add them all up, divide by how many? So we'll get 34 plus 34 plus 35 plus 36 plus 36 plus 39 plus 40 plus 42 divided by 8. And that should give us 37. The variance... Again, if we, use, if we use the second method, you can use the first method, but it's better to get into the practice of using the second method. We need to work out sum of x squareds. So that will be 34 squared plus 34 squared plus 35 squared plus 36 squared plus 36 squared plus 39 squared plus 40 squared plus 42 squared. So we type that in the calculator. And we get 11014. So we have the variance is 11014 over 8 minus the mean squared, which is 37 squared. And we should get out 7.75. Now the reason that we're getting out the same answer as the previous question is because all we've done is added 30 onto all of the numbers. So the spread, they're still the same spread. They're still spread out by the same amount. The mean has changed. The mean's gone up by 30 because we added 30 to all of the numbers. But the spread is the same. The variance is still 7.75. And standard deviation is square root variance. So that will stay as 2.78 to three significant figures.